Hello everyone, and today I will be showing you how to install the Forge Launcher and Forge Mods. So, let's get right on into it. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today I am showing you how to install any type of Forge Mod. So, first off, to install a Forge mod, you have to get Forge. So, let's go to, oops, F-O-R, just type in Forge, and go to files.minecraftforge.net, and it'll take you to this page. It will say Downloads 1.11.2. We do not want 1.11.2, because this, the mod, um, well, pretty much whatever version the mod is designed for, you want to download that version of Forge. So if you have a mod designed for 1.11.2, you download the 1.11.2 version. But since um, the mod I showcased yesterday, Rival Rebels, requires 1.7.10, we're going to go to Minecraft versions, 1.7, click 1.7.10. And I will always recommend download the one that says download recommended. Do not do not always download the latest because the recommended is the one that's that would best suit your computer. So since I am using Windows, I will download the installer Windows. It should refresh it should load the page. And it'll show an ad fly thing. Do not click anything here. Wait up at the top where it says one. Wait up here and then click skip. Do not touch this website at all. It will download something. So just direct this to downloads. Click save. I already have the version. So I'm just going to replace it. So don't worry about that. That message should not pop up. But still once you get it. Um, you're going to want to run it. And then you let it load. It'll ask, do you want this to edit your hard drive? You click yes. See, security says it's safe. So once you click that, hmm, um, a window should pop up soon. Ah, here. Um, so it says mod installer system, Minecraft Forge. Welcome to the Simple Forge installer. You want to check install client. Do not check anything else. Ignore this. Well, sorry, my bad. Set this to where your to your dot Minecraft folder. And then you click open. Then click OK. It will show a progress bar. It'll load that. Then it'll say successfully installed client Forge. So now, congratulations, you have Forge installed. Now you need to install mods. So let's show one. Let's go to Rival Rebels. That's not how you spell that. Rebels. So let's go to the website that I showed. We will go to Download. And we will scroll down and download this one. It says it says the best version for 1.7.10. So we will click this button, it'll take us to this thing, just scroll down to the bottom and click download Rival Rebels, whatever. Then it'll load, and you will click this one. So the way Rival Rebels works, it edits the land loading, so that way it disables oceans. That's what the normal one does. Some people don't like that, so he added another option which keeps oceans. So if you download this one, you will not find any oceans in your world. So I'm just going to download the regular. In fact, wait, I will download the oceans one. So we'll download the oceans. And just in parentheses, I'm going to put oceans. Nope, that's not how you spell oceans. It's O-C-E-A, oceans. Then we'll put another parenthesis. Now we are going to save this. What I do, I have a special folder directed to mod backups. So it's literally a folder I have that backs up all my, I have a backup of every mod that I'm ever going to use. So I will just, I just save it in there. 
So I'm going to save it there. It'll load. I'm going to click show in all. Now we see the mod. Now we're going to click show in folder. Now it's here. Um, you open up another tab and you're going to go to dot Minecraft and scroll down and a new folder should be added called mods. If that folder does not exist, make sure you install Forge and then just create that folder if it still is not there. So we're going to open that up and we can delete all this. But um, there should be nothing in this folder the moment you open it. There should be nothing in here. I just ha I was just using the mods from my previous video. So all you're going to do, you're going to move the oceans over into the mods folder. And I like to copy it so that way I have a backup of every mod in here in case I ever want to use it again. Then we're going to close this. We're going to close this. And now that you've closed all those, you will want to open the Minecraft launcher. And then I will lead you on from there. So once you launch the Minecraft launcher, so you just open up the Minecraft launcher. And if we click the thing at the top, go to launch options. You will notice that a new profile has been added, Forge 1.7.10. And whenever you want to use your mods for 1.7.10, you make sure to launch this profile. So if we go back to News and then click this little up arrow, you see these are all the um, mods that I mean uh, um, profiles that we have. We're going to want to click Forge, make sure it's 1.7.10, and then we click Play. So once Minecraft loads, if you notice when it does load, it will say like um, installing Forge or whatever. And you'll see a little hammer hitting an anvil and then a bunch of progress bars. Do not worry. That is a part of the Forge loading. But once it's loaded, if you see our title screen has changed a little bit. Down at the bottom says Minecraft Forge. I mean Wine Minecraft, Minecraft Forge. And then there's a new button called Mods. Click Mods. These are all the mods installed. It. These three are forge mods don't worry about these this is um all the stuff you used for forge this one is the mod we installed rival rebels so it's on and when playing make sure not to play any world that you've played before because if you do it will crash your game so you have to create a new world whenever playing with a different set of mods so if you have a certain group of mods, you delete one, and you already created a world with those certain set of mods, you have to create a new world. It's just the way it works. I mean, you can cre you can open the world. It'll just say, like, warning, some stuff will be missing. It'll say, like, warning, can't find these objects. And then you just click, it says, do you still want to load it? Click yes, it'll load. But everything related to any mod you deleted will not be there anymore. So that is how to install Minecraft Forge. If you ever want to install any other mod that I showcase, just make sure to replace the Rival Rebels thing with the other mod. And the great thing about Forge, <coughs> excuse me, I had to cough. But the great thing about Forge, you can install multiple mods at once. So I could have, for example, Rival Rebels, Optifine, and something else that I wanted. I don't have to use just one mod at a time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helps you, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.